Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace. It is both. It is both. You can put it in a religion form because if you read the Bible, it also says that when he had the Lord came, his hair was like wool. It clearly says it in the Bible. In a culture where I come yes. from, kids, this is how they wear their hair. So, Mum, you will say, you know, I think the fear would be this is a fashion trend. Mm -hmm. And your point is absolutely it's not. not. It's right, not a fashion trend. Not. So here's the problem. I think, you know, the school have their policy and you can argue it one way or the other with you, but you can also argue surely the school, before they took Chickasee on board, they should have understood the child that they were accepting into the school, surely. Or told you that told their hair wasn't acceptable. Yes, Did you have any kind of conversation with them? Not about my son's hair, because as far as I was concerned, it was not an issue. As far as, in my opinion, it was not an issue. I went to several occasions to different meetings in the school. Everything they sent us to go to, I will go. I bring my son with me. I had a meeting, uh, not a meeting as such, a conversation with the headmaster. He shook my hand, he shook Chikazi's hand, he said, welcome to Fulham Boys School. He said, it'll be a pleasure. Okay. So you, and you say you had read the, the school rule book and yes. there was nothing in there. There were, there were mention of, so they couldn't have hair beyond their collar, but Chikazi ties his hair up. That's so exactly. Chikazi, tell us your first day, this is Fulham Boys School in, in London. Um, what happened on your first day then? Who first mentioned to you that this, your hair was not acceptable? Um, I was in I was in class and then and then one of the my head of house came in and then she said and she asked me if I can come out of class for a second and then and then she told and she told me that that by Monday my hair has to be cut. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. So as you can see from the report. The young black Rastafarian brother was discriminated against at school. And like the sister said, they had already been with the administrators whom should have looked at the boy and simply said, you know, hey, that doesn't fit our policy or whatnot. But they accepted him into the school. And as the mother said, she read the policy and there was nothing in there that stated that the young boy could not uh, wear his hair in that manner, right? So that's why uh, in reality, we need our own schools, right? With people who look like us, because sometimes, you know, they think that's a fashion, fashion, uh, statement or a fashion display to wear the dreadlocks down to wear dreadlocks period but it's just our people being themselves it mo off times most times i would say and it's like in reality that teacher didn't want that young brother there that's why she selected him pulled him out of the room and said that to them because they don't want us around them, right? So the sister was strong enough to file a lawsuit. They did settle. And the school actually wants the young brother to return. But if I was the sister, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put my child back in that school where he's not wanted. The most unbelieving Muhammad said we should not go where we are not wanted. If they don't want the dreads in their school, to hell with their school. And I, and I understand it's tough as parents. You know, sometimes when we have to make these type of educational decisions pertaining to our children. Where do I take my child? What, what, what's the proper uh, supervision? Who's gonna be the stewards of my child, right? And sometimes we are forced, unfortunately, to take them to our enemy schools. So I can respect that I don't know the sister circumstances. I don't know what's around her. But the young brother actually looks like he's old enough to where he could maybe maybe do a, a, a homeschooling program if there are no uh, black schools around or, or, or original people ran schools around. 
you know, we have to be wise. Once our children reach a certain age and we see a certain amount of character development in them, if we if there are no schools around us that that are ran and led by people who look like us, you buy, buy a homeschool program for the child, right? And have a camera set up at the house to where you can view what's going on with your child, right? Where you can communicate with your child. Stuff of that nature, we just have to, we living in a modern world with modern technology. And I'd rather my child be in an environment at the house. Uh, of course, if the child is old enough, I'm talking about, you know, teenage, teenage, uh, age but of course they have to have the character and the maturity to be able to handle that and this is only in a scenario where there are not schools that will give our pe our people uh, uh our children an education that's rooted in their history so that they can understand their culture and that which is very important. Why send your child to a school where they're gonna be indoctrinated with somebody else's history and understanding? That taints the view or the perspective of our children when it comes to life itself, right? They don't walk the same once we get indoctrinated with this Eurocentric based education. They don't have that original man swagger no more. They have to be taught who they are. They have to be taught all of the great inventions from our great inventors. They have to know how we contributed to the onward march of civilization. So I do salute this sister for being bold enough to stand up and, and fight against the discrimination against her child. But at the end of the day, the solution is for us to have our own and to stop taking our children to our, to the public school to, where a lot of teachers are just there to get a paycheck. A lot of teachers don't truly care uh, about the best interests of our children because a lot of them are being educated by people who don't look like us, right? So that's just my few thoughts about this. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.